definitely well versed with the entire cast. I have yet to beat him in a Roy Ditto. I mean, he does take this game a little bit, uh, I would say quite a bit more seriously than I do. I know his Ike has won a few games on stream. Okay. Um, <laughs> Uh, yesterday, actually, he did three-stock Void. Um, went Void Lucina in Elite Smash. I, I did get to actually check that out. So I'd definitely say Coco is previous PR for a pretty good reason. And he looks to regain a top 10 spot here in Arizona. Let's put this much as well as he's been this season. Yeah, he was number 10 two seasons ago. Um, he kind of had to take a hiatus do some, due to some personal things, but I definitely would say he should not be counted out for this PR race. Whatsoever. As much as I joke about him playing Mario, his Mario is very impressive. Easily best in the state. Um, I'm not sure so if I would claim Mario. that. Stroder does have a secondary Mario. Yeah, I mean, solo Mario, you know what I mean. And I don't know if that was Roach DI, um, or what exactly happened there. Coco is leading by two, two stocks. stock lead. Abassi definitely has talent to seal this away and maybe take a game or even win the set, but um, I'm not really sure what's going on, frankly. But, but let's see how he adapts. The last couple of games we spoke about getting extra, uh, extra credit after you get a stock, and Coco does that really well. He plays defense really well when he's up the side, but he also is hyper aggressive, which is what some people don't usually want to, they usually are used to. And just calls out a good option right there. One thing that I really like that Coco says that's definitely helped not only his play but my play and I'm sure countless others is he says he always plays his stocks as if they're his last. So he plays his first stock as if it's his last stock. His second stock as it's his last stock. I definitely, and it definitely shows. In that last game, he was fighting for his life. And you um, see him, I'm sorry to cut you off, but you see Coco go for that ledge trump uh, yeah. back air, and that's kind of his MO. If you ever seen Coco play, that's something he does often. Yeah, I would definitely say it's a pretty big Mario thing um, because that that cape does automatically snap them to the ledge. And I've just so. seen Abasi go to hero. That's surprising. Uh, Abasi does have a really good hero. I'm scared about how his hero is going to react against Kate. But yeah, um, Kate does automatically snap Mario to the ledge, so it's a bit easier than if you were just than if you were just going to do the uh, half circle to the ledge. Um, but yeah. That, that ledge uh, trump <laughs> back air is amazing. I know Silent Rain does really good at huh? does really good with those as well. Uh, that angle wasn't quite straight down, but we take those, I guess. Um, Bassey looks to be panicking quite a little bit here. He just kind of he did throw out two smash smashes in quite a small window of time, but I'm sure he can end that. It's a good way to use the platform. Just to extend his combo a little bit, he's punished more so. And Ray to Cape. Like you were saying earlier, right, you can see how Harry's going to um, react to Kate. And it gets him to stop. And a great way to snooze and get a forward smash. Yeah, Kate, Kate playing a big part I, I in this game. That's going to be pretty integral, especially for him. And he's going to make.
make that back. Hero with an amazing recovery. Ooh, and Coco dodging with his life. That hatchet man probably would have crit and cost him a stock. Great adaptation by Abasi. You see Abasi being more aggressive and calling out more options, playing more confidently. Let's see if he can close this, get some ground and just close this game out. Let's see if he has Abasi a bit can of take momentum. this game. I'm sure he can. He kind of needs to get some. Ooh, nice shield. No, oh, okay, that scared me. Reverse up tried and true. Takes, Reverse up smash. Takes the game. And Coco prevails. Isaiah.